Hey guys, my name is Spook, and you may know me from playing PSO2 on Twitch, uh, usually on Ship 4, the Mad Ghost, I can't stop playing it. Well, since I do play a lot of PSO2, uh, basically here to show you how to use customized quick menus. So a lot of you, I noticed you don't actually use it or even customize it in the first place, and I think you're missing out a lot here. It's very customizable, and it just makes it a lot more easier to get through the cluttered menu you have here in the game. I mean... It's essential for controller users, and it could be some good use for keyboard users. So I just want to show you how to use this and see if you maybe get a little bit of a, a kick out of this, maybe find some use in it. And if you do, you can give this video a like, but if not, give it a dislike. Anyway, let's definitely get into this. Um, first off, we want to have you actually set it up so you can access it normally by default, I think. It should be accessible on your keyboard and controller anyway, but just in case you want it to be on a more comfortable button or other button, whatever it is, you can go to your main menu and system, go to control settings. For me, since I use a controller, because I'm crazy that way, you can go here and then scroll down and you'll see uh, menus. One of them is quick menu. For me, that's set to select. And that's normal. I like it that way. So we'll leave it that alone. Now for keyboard users, you go to keyboard, scroll down to the same spot and you'll see mine's actually set to at button. I don't know if that's really a good uh, button for keyboard users, but if you want something else, definitely change it. Now, once that's all set up, you're going to go ahead and access the quick menu. And you see I already have one set up and customized. It looks a little different from yours. And that's okay. We'll show you how to do that. But first, I just want to show you how to even customize it in the first place. First, you want to take a close look to here, where it says Swap Edit Layout. This gives you the ability to swap to multiple different menus. You can get six of them. I'll show you that in a moment. And uh, you can actually do the same thing. Oops, yeesh, my mouse is going crazy today. So yeah, again, this lets you edit it, but in case you're, you would like using the mouse for whatever reason, you can click the gear and we'll take you to the same menu. Now you're given six layout selections, basic types, communication types, customized layout one, party, and I I guess this one's required, I don't know. I, I, I didn't rename some of these, but yeah, six types. Four are customizable, these two are not customizable. However, we're gonna focus on the third one because if you're not a premium user, you're not gonna be able to use these three. So let's go to customize layout. Now you can see you go apply to it. This will become your menu when you apply it. You can edit, you can change its name, or reset it. For now, we'll edit, and you'll see it will give you the ability to hover over here. So, you may notice that you can also sort around the, the blue worded ones and just essentially change it to another thing. You definitely want to make use of the categories because having, for example, all these blue uh, categories missing just makes a giant wall of text and it's hard to navigate through it. So you really want to make use of them. You don't need to have a bunch of them. You can just have maybe three or two and that should be enough. But yeah, definitely make use of those because you're going to be like, oh, I'm lost or something because it's just a wall of text. So you can change things to another, um, let's say, I don't know, mute mic or something. I don't, I don't think anyone would use this, but you could change it to that. And you may notice that mute mic is a sub command for another menu in this game. Even party command menus are here too. You'll notice a lot that there are sub commands everywhere in that. You can actually customize uh, your quick menu with almost anything in the game that is in the menu or even a device. A good example would be maybe, let's see, I think party commands. Let's go here. I'm going to apply this. Okay, so we're at party commands, right? Where's the party commands? Here it is. Perfect. All right, let me show you. So in your party commands, you may notice that you have access to recruit party members, which is a very useful feature. I like to have a beacon over my head and people can just click on me and join my party. And I can even categorize it to what type of party it's going to be in case someone's using the party search function, which you guys should be using a lot more often. I would highly recommend it. It makes it much easier to get around in parties. But yeah, you see how I've accessed this before, right? Now, if we go to my quick menu and down here, 
you may notice that recruit party members is right under party commands. When you could just go to party commands and access it there. There are a lot of sub commands you can access and put on your quick menu in case you don't need the big menus popping your way and wasting your time. This makes things quicker. Along throughout the video, I'll be showing you a few of those sub commands, the most useful ones. So let's go to my customized layout for this video, which I think is the most optimal menu. And it will be useful for basically anyone who has issues navigating through the, the complicated UI that is PSO2. We'll start with what I have here. Nearby characters. This is a useful feature. If you need to invite somebody to your party really quickly, you can just hit nearby characters. Whoever shows up in that list near you, you invite them to your party, or you can check some of their information, like their player ID or their class and so on. It's just really useful to have this uh, at the top because having your most used commands at the very top is just easier to access. You could have your mid uh, commands you don't use as often in the middle, and then your least used commands would be at the bottom. For me, that is nearby characters as my most used. Next to most used is run chat macros. This is actually one of the biggest ones you want to have. You can see that I can turn off my UI. I can just even uh, reset my DPS meter. I can't show that now, but you can see I can do that. Even show that you have engaged with an enemy and give the location and even, you know, do emotes and so on and so forth with messages. This is essentially like auto chats, but chat macros. Unfortunately, you cannot chat macro your skills. This is only for a chat. So if you're going to attempt to do that, don't even be looking for it here. You cannot do that. It's only for chat. Now, if you want to get a more in-depth video on how to customize your chat macros, you can check out my auto chat video that's on my channel. This will basically give you the main format on how to customize the commands. So you can make use of your auto chat and your chat macros. Now, moving on from that, we have stamps. This is optional. Uh, if you're more communicative than most players, you want to have access to these cute little stamps to have a little fun here and there. A more crucial one, which people don't use enough of, I think they should start using is place portable hologram. This is actually very useful, but has issues as well. Normally, I like to use the arrow portable hologram. And in order to get to it, I have to go to page six. Actually, no, this is not even the one I want. There's another version of it, which is an actual hologram and not a, a paint. So notice it's on page 11. I want to add it to my favorites so I have quicker access to it. I don't have access to favorites. My favorites does not show up there. I do not know why Sega hasn't noticed this, but they need to fix this because if I'm going to favorite something, it means I want to access it quickly. And sometimes my favorite menu shows up here, but most of the time it's not there. For this, I think the most use you get out of is maybe a uh, red and mining rig right now because you want to know where the certain mobs spawn and you could just place down these arrows in those spots. So you can have players who don't know where they spawn, stand right there and wait for whatever those creatures that throw those purple balls and destroy the, the rig extremely fast. Anyway, moving on from place portable holograms is emotes. You obviously want access to your emotes so you can give the feeling of your character. You can like, let's say if I'm logging out and I need quick access to log out, I can do that. Simple and then just log right out. A little fun here and there. Now we have party commands. I highly suggest you add this to your list if you need quick access to your party to change the leader, remove someone from the party, or you know, recruit party members. Very useful. Now, what's weird about the party commands section is you can't share your location with the party in the party commands. For some reason, that's not an option here. There's gather party members, at least here. You don't have access to share location party there, but you definitely want this. The reason why is let's say you're at a veteran in Central Redham and you're with a friend who doesn't know where it is or doesn't want to use the world map in your party. Using share location with party will essentially create a waypoint, kind of like this white one here that you see in front of me, but it'll be blue and it will give off a sound wave. So your party member will notice what that is and just run right towards it. My next suggestion would be character info. Now I use this a lot, not for viewing my stats. I tend to show my stats this way, but the main use for this is my current effects. This actually lets me see my current rare drop rate and how long it will last here. So if you're missing a food buff or your mag, you can double check when it's going to expire and you know make the adjustments and go rebuff if you have to. Very useful to have. Next would be alliance commands. This is kind of useful if you're in, a, let's say, an alliance space. 
or you know your alliance leader you don't have to use the alliance terminals in the alliance space to access these features because you have the menu take the time to look through the options you have for your quick menu and customize it to your liking you do not have to go with my layout you can if you want something so you can like get started from there and then customize it as you go on now next we get to the creator space i want to show you something really cool with creator space i notice a lot of you when you go to let's say let me let me go to my creator space and give you a quick example uh let's say i go to a creator space and the tree is not here in the front but all the way in the back of the map for some reason and you want to go there and get your genesis points because you have to do that every day so you can build up those points let's say you go to the end of the map and you get that tree a lot of you actually for some reason run back to the teleporter so you can move on to the next creative space and get points you don't need to do that you can just go to your quick menu creative space future creative spaces and go to the next location you do not need to access the teleporter at all so if you didn't know that now you do and i just saved you some time next would be abandoned quest this is actually extremely useful to have because a lot of times when you're doing standing quests or UQs, you end up getting bugged out where your reward menu doesn't show, you see nothing, and you're stuck there. A quick way to get out of that and get your reward is to use Abandoned Quest. Another good example would be your friend forgot to buff themselves with a food buff or a mag buff. You could just abandon the quest so they can quickly get their buff and then you proceed to do the quest. So it's good to have access to that. Next would be change online status. Now, you may not use it as often, but let's say you're going to be AFK. This game does not have an auto AFK feature like WoW or Final Fantasy. So I wish it did. It'd be really nice if it did. But since it doesn't, you have to manually put yourself away in some way. And this is the quickest way to do it. Just set yourself away. And it should show up under your name. For me, it won't because I have certain features set up in a way where uh, I'll show you in a moment where it doesn't show. But if you do turn that on to a way, you will show up as like a, a little chair here next to your name, uh, in, indicating that you are away and people will see that. And oh yeah, here's a good example. My friend here is away right now. It's a little chair. Next on the list is your toggle character have her head display. So remember when I said that my, my username is set in a way where you can't see the away, uh, the away message? Well, you can make a quick change to that. So I'm going to quickly set myself to away and then go to toggle overhead display and set it to character name, HP and PP bar. So I get to see my PP and HP. Now you see that I have a way under my name. You can actually just hide that if you don't like seeing that or pick specific things. You can show your player ID name, character class level and uh, so on and so forth. This is actually really useful to have in case you don't feel like checking someone's player ID or you can't because it's privated. You can just do this or, you know, go to player ID name and character name and anyone you see in the game will show their player ID and character name. You have HP, which lets you see everybody's HP, including yours and the HP PP bar I like to use, but you can't see everyone's PP with that for some reason. You can only see your own PP bar. Next on the list is easy photo mode. This is probably one of the best features to have on here in case you like taking screenshots and posting on Twitter or Reddit or wherever you do that. Easy access in case you need it. And if you're not really happy with how easy photo mode works, you can have select camera light here to get those fixed angles without you having to uh, go through the weird options of uh, easy photo mode. You can even give yourself some lighting if you need it. Next would be the photo room settings and room keyword photo room settings. So these two are kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna show you why I have them separate. So since I have a photo room, I can use photo room settings and it gives me options to change the weather. I can do clear the weather, heat wave, even change the time and day because I have quick access to it and I don't have to go through my main menu. Next would be the room keyword photo room settings. You can set a password, really easy, disable NPCs, make a photo room or not make a photo room. This is more useful towards creative, sorry, not creative spaces, but combat zones. If you wanna set a, a combat zone private and with a password so your party members or alliance members can join in on it and you could do an eight man run in your combat zone or whatever else you're gonna be farming at and you just want it to be private 
you can use this for a quick password uh, room. Also very useful for resetting mobs in an area. Every time you change the password and set it, it will respawn mobs. Now, I think that's basically everything on the menu, but let me show you one more feature here. Notice how when you go to the Ryuker, you can get your party members to gather with you. You actually have access to this on your quick menu. For some reason, it's not a sub command you can add to the quick menu. I've tried looking and I couldn't really find it. Nothing that pulls my party to me. I don't understand why it's not here when you can access it through your party commands right here. You don't need a Ryuker to do it. But in case you need to access it, it's in your party commands, which is why it's good to have this. And that really essentially is the video. I thank you for you know watching all the way to the end. And if you like this video, again, give it a like. And if you have ideas for future videos you want to see for guides, leave a comment saying that. But other than that, I think I'm going to call it night here, guys. Have a wonderful day and happy holidays. Peace out.